The recent rise of the prices on gasoline has brought the drivers of our city to a serious thought of switching from petrol to liquefied gas. Shifting vehicles from petroleum is one of the priorities of Kazakhstan government in terms of ecology. But green driving does not bother the potential gas users. They are more considered with costs, profits and risks. Installation of special equipment for gas is costly. Varying from the type of the car, it can reach to 150,000 tenge. Nurbal Yestimisov has a car with an engine capacity of 5.4 liters, so he is extremely sensitive to the petroleum prices. He says that the expenses are justified. But the main problem is the risk of technological failure. I heard that in theory, engine head gasket may dry out, but it is just a theory that needs to be checked. Half of people say that everything is fine and the car works normally, and others say that gas may harm the car. Specialists admit that the engine does suffer from gas. The main reason for that is the car combustion temperature. In a couple of years, engine may fail. Even though the solution to this problem exists, it requires additional expenses for the cooling lubricant and maintenance service. Another problem is the loss of car power. Imperfections in the injection system do not allow the car to get enough fuel when it is needed. Experts admit that the loss of power exists, but numbers are scanty, from 6 to 2 percent. According to Amir Yurisev, most of the fears about gas are just myths. The most horrifying of them speaks of gas leaks, as it is widely known that gas poisonings are deadly. When Chinese, Russian or Belarusian hoses were used, gas leaks were possible. But new computer systems neatly control it. Gas system has sensors that monitor the pressure. If it finds that the pressure is down, it switches off the gas power. As the prices for the gasoline rush up and the ordinary government tries to save the environment, ordinary citizens try to save their wallets. And maybe, just maybe, they have to ride a bike. This was Milana Stapinka for the Kimap News.